morning everybody and welcome in to my show today we are going to attempt to have an awesome show today i try to do that every day but it doesn't always work that way yeah the sun is finally rising i left here about uh well, 35 minutes ago so now the sun is finally rising as i said before it was a little bit dark so i didn't uh, didn't uh, really wanted to start with my video and it was dark so decided I wait a few minutes until it's a little bit more light out there you know well, we only got about 60 miles to go about one hour drive up to uh, Laredo to our delivery place so we'll get there a little early I think but uh, I figured I'd much rather get there early than late so We'll probably be there around 8.35 or 8.40, something like that. According to the satellite, it says they open at 9. So, I figured out this time I'm going to make sure I'm going to try at least attempt to get there on time. Luckily, it's not far into Laredo. Because if it was into Laredo, you can expect some traffic in Laredo too. But this one is literally just on the outskirt on the north side of Laredo. So, I won't have to deal with... Uh, lot of traffic I think anyways so uh, let's get down on on to Laredo over there do our quick delivery hopefully and put the hammer down back towards Houston no I don't know for sure but I believe that on our way back you guys will see something interesting for those of you that have not been all around on my channel very long and that is when I come back 16 miles into or whatever 30 miles into uh, Texas there is actually a border patrol uh, checkpoint up there and uh, last time I come through there I was filming it We'll see if we'll do the same thing again. I'm thinking I will. I'm pretty sure that I will. And uh, that will be kind of interesting for you guys to watch. At least I think, for some of you. I've never seen it before. But Anyways, we got a long day ahead of us. We, uh, we had about an hour and 45 minutes drive over here. And then we got about five, five and a half hours over to uh, over to our uh, pickup there in Houston, and that we have to be there at least according to the satellite. We have to be there by 4:30, otherwise they won't load us. So I wonder what that was. It almost looked like a dog that somebody drove over a dog, but. I couldn't for surely see that but anyways as I was saying the satellite says that we have to be there by 4.30 in order to get loaded and as you guys probably know today is Friday so it's going to be uh, I think a uh, busy day today and if I don't get it loaded today I don't know if they're actually open tomorrow I haven't actually talked to them yet See if they're open tomorrow if they're not open tomorrow or the day after I'll probably be screwed if I can't get loaded today till Monday I'll probably have to wait till Monday which I would hate to do I would really like to get that load on today that load was supposed to be tomorrow uh, in Madison at tomorrow <laughs> that ain't gonna happen it's definitely uh, I think a three or a three and a half day drive up to uh, to Madison Hat, I believe, here from Houston. So it's a long way, that's for sure. But we will do our best as we got delayed there by our first delivery. Now we just have to see what we can uh, make up with time. I could have actually gone all the way to uh, Laredo last night, but I. I just figured, you know what, since uh, they're only open at 9 this morning, I figured why drive that late and maybe not even get a parking spot in Laredo, so I figured, ah, screw it. 
screwed. I'm just going to go stop over here and stop a little earlier and just start earlier, you know. But anyways, let's put the hammer down and see what kind of day it will, uh, the Lord will have in stock for us today. This, my friends, is where Laredo starts, in my opinion. And you see these intersections with these big bridges. You know you're in Laredo. Yes sir, Bob. That is for sure. I just got to go up to the next mile marker up here. And I make a right hand turn. Take exit 7, Shiloh Drive. There you go. There you go. I got to go down there a mile or so. And uh, that's where I got to make my delivery. That almost almost sounds familiar to me like I've been here before this looks very familiar to me yes sir e Bob it is I think so I think I've been here one time before yep I remember this yes yes I think I know exactly where I'm going very good people there though very good people that just over there, that's where I was one time before. But that time I had like a... mile, take exit 7, Shiloh Drive, Las Cruces Drive, and then turn right in 0.2 miles. But that time I think I had like almost a full load full or whatever, I remember that. And they counted every single box, you know. But anyways... 0.2 miles, turn right on. San Lorenzo Drive, and then turn right in 250 feet. Let's go over there and make our delivery, and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. We are empty, yeah! I am so excited! Oh yeah! We are leaving Laredo! Yes sir, e Bob! We got 354 miles to go to Houston. GPS says we should be there about quarter after six. So if there's a little, I mean quarter after six, quarter after 1600 o'clock, it's at four o'clock, 10 minutes after four o'clock. So if that's the case, there will probably be a little bit of traffic, but I think we can still get there by 4.30. Really keeping my fingers crossed anyways. So let's put the hammer down and get over there ASAP. Yeah, but before we do that, we have to go through that checkpoint. Yes, and I will try to show you that. Oh yes, but look at these huge overpasses that they got up here. Yep. Anyways, I am sweating now. It's pretty darn hot up here, humid. Doesn't look like it's that hot, but it is. My truck shows 30 degrees right now. I guess we better move into this lane so these trucks can come onto our highway here. So, anyways, let's have ourselves an awesome day and see if we can make our uh, pickup there in Houston today. Here we are, guys. We are coming up to the uh, inspection stage. Yes, sir, e Bob. Yep, we certainly are. I don't know what uh, that guy was flashing his lights at, but certainly was flashing as lights so let's go in here and see what they got to say all right he's flashing my lights at him all right oh that guy was taking a picture no I'm going north are you by yourself oh yes sir US citizen? no Canadian citizen what's that Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. through that inspection oh yeah 
Here we go. Let's put the hammer down to Laredo. Laredo, yeah, right. Houston, I meant to say. I got Laredo in my head for some odd reason. <laughs> Houston, here we come. Oh, yeah. We are putting the hammer down, that's for sure. Look at the kind of trees that they got up here. Isn't that weird? They're really small trees. Like It doesn't look like they really have a forest up here. A lot of cactus though. I don't know if that's in English or not, but I'm used to that in, uh, from South America, so I know what that is, you know. But anyways, we're having fun. We're going to go up to San Antonio and then take that I-10 across over to Houston. And we're flying. We're going speed limit, 75 mile an hour speed limit up here. I'm doing 72 right now. I might bump it up to 75. Yeah, because I'm in a hurry. I want to get to Houston ASAP. So let's go. I generally don't go this fast. Normally I would only do 60. But since this place closes at 4.30, I gotta put the hammer down to get there ASAP. Oh yeah. No, I'm gonna be passing a lot of trucks. Usually it's the opposite. I'm usually being passed by a lot of trucks. <laughs> Cause I'm usually the slow one. But anyways, let's have some fun. Well guys, it looks like we are fixing to get ourselves some rainstorm up here. Yeah, it just all of a sudden it started getting windy and real dark clothes and now it looks like we're getting hammered with some rain. About 115 miles to Houston. Yep. Oh boy, I better slow her down. We're getting bored on. You can't really see out of the window. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Wow. Well, that's some heavy rain. Gee Louise, that is coming down real hard. Wow. Alrighty guys, we are just about 10 miles to Houston. And I just figured I had to show you this spider web up here. I mean, just look at all of these overpasses we got here. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like five overpasses on top of this highway yet. And then there's a road beneath us yet. So that's like six uh, six highways in one place, you know. Isn't that amazing? What they can build these days. Yeah, that is, uh, that is something. I just love overpasses, so I just have to show it to you guys. Anyways, we'll continue on uh, over to Houston. We got 37 miles to go to our pickup. And hopefully we can get there. I mean, GPS shows we should be there at 3.32. So if we don't have too much of a rush hour in Houston, we should be there before our uh, 4.30, like they said, on our system. So we'll, uh, we'll have paid off putting the hammer down and getting there. So hopefully we get our load on and uh, get out of Houston tonight. Sweetest melons in all of Cotton County She used to feed me grapes and call me lover of man One day her dad stopped me just as I was leaving Said, boy, I think it's time we had a word or two Guess what are your intentions when it comes to my daughter? I said, grocery man, I'll tell you what I intend to do Gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi All the way down to New Orleans Kick it! I 
said, your buns look yummy, how much for half a dozen? She waked and said, I'll buy a little sample for free. She left me in the kitchen, things were getting steamy. She said, I've always dreamed about a man like you. And you could be my steady if it wasn't for my husband. Right then I take her off my list of things to do. Gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. Sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. On the way down to New Orleans. I'm gonna sail my boat on the wide Mississippi. Sail my boat. Already, guys, we got our load. It is quarter to five right now, and we have our load on. Yes, sir, Bob. We are very, very, very excited that we were able to get our load. Yep, now it's going to be a fight to get out of Houston, but uh, hey, at least I got my load. At least we'll be able to get out of Houston today, I think. I only have like seven and a quarter hours worth of driving in yet, so I can actually do another three and three quarter hours, something like that, three and a half hours for sure. That I can do actual driving yet, so I could actually get quite a waste out of uh, Houston yet if the traffic is going to allow it, you know. Here it's always the right lane for the hands, so always a fight to get into the left lane, but uh, hey, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Here we go. Getting up to the border. 
That should not be a problem. Be one mile. Keep to the left on my yeah, 16. Yeah, I better make a turn here because it looks like this lane is exiting. I don't want to exit. No, 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 no way. I don't want to exit right now. Looks like there's a long line to get to the exit or two. Which I suspect too, I will get some heavy traffic yet there going out of uh, out of Houston there on Highway 45. Yes, sir, Bob. There will be some heavy duty traffic in there, that's for sure. There's always traffic on that stretch, but oh well, it's okay. We got our load, so we're just going to take her easy. Yep. Gonna sail on right on through nice and easy. Yeah. In a quarter mile, keep to the left on my If you push more. yourself, that's where you will get into trouble. And hey, I just remembered something. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long, long time. And that is continue on this road for seven miles. I do have Periscope now. And that is an app where you can uh, do like a live streaming show. And uh, if you guys want to follow me there, check out my link down there in the description all the way at the bottom. Uh, I left it on there. It's uh, basically just search for Trucker Rudy. And same thing for uh, Snapshot or Snapchat, not Snapshot, Snapchat. I'm on there as well. And on that one, you can actually just do uh, like just share videos or like make little videos like 15 second clips or something like that. And they will be on there for 24 hours and then you can see it or put a picture or whatever I want, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, you guys can follow me on there. I keep forgetting to mention that, you know. And if I got enough people uh, uh, wanting to see a little video or whatever on Periscope or something like that then I will start every once in a while come on their life and uh, we'll do a little bit of a show and what it really does it's, it's like a live show and you can write stuff on there and then I can see it what you're writing and then I can do a life answer you know or whatever so uh, it's actually a really neat program I know Trucker Josh has got it I watched a lot of his uh, live shows already, so and it stays on there for 24 hours too. So even if you missed my live show, you can watch it after uh, after the fact for uh, up to 24 hours, you know. But anyways, that's it. That's it. So far, traffic is running smoothly, but I guarantee you, it's going to come to a real slowdown later on. Oh yeah. So let's see what happens for the rest of the day and get down the road. Alrighty guys, we are fixing to pull in over here. I think we are going to be calling it a day here pretty soon. I've never been at this place before, but uh, guess what? We're going to go check it out and see what it's all about. Apparently there's room for like 10 trucks in there, so we'll go see if we can pull her in there. Oh, it looks like there is a few trucks in there. It looks like there is room for more, so we'll go check it out. We will go check it out. No, oh, this side there is the one that I actually want. Yeah, this is the side that I actually want. GPS is telling me it's on the other side of the highway, but actually this side is the one that I want. <laughs> I guess there's two truck stops in this area. Oh well. No? No. No, I'm talking to the camera there, Jukebox. I'm talking to the camera. Alright, which way did you want to go? You decided to go this way. Alright, alright. I guess these people don't know which way they want to go. <laughs> but you want to guess what I'm looking at? That's something better than that. Yeah, well, it's uh, we're, we're looking at a steakhouse. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
right, so we will go park her in here and then we will go to the steakhouse and then we'll go have ourselves a nice steak. Looks like a brand new truck stop in here, but it looks like they just paved it. It's not a new truck stop. But. Anyways, we'll go pull her in here and then I'll let you guys go and uh, and uh, we will see you a little bit later. We'll finish up the show later. Well guys, we are done for today. And as you guys can see, it's a little bit of a hilly slope like this. And guys were saying on this app that I've been using on that trucker patch, and you go down, you can read the reviews on places. They were saying that it was really hard to park over here or it was uh, kind of nasty, you know, I guess because it was a gravel lot before, but look at the ash or the uh, cement now. Looks like it's a brand new parking lot. Like it looks like they put some, uh, poured some concrete down here, so. But anyways, I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of this parking spot. And uh, we're gonna go inside and uh, see what kind of uh, barbecue it is. They, they claimed on there that uh, it's worth stopping here even though it was a bad parking spot. And so, let's go check it out. Come with me along and we'll try and show it to you what it's all like. Well, have a look at it. The building is way down there. That's how, how, how tall this, this hill is or whatever. But if you look up there, it says Woody's Steakhouse Shell, and it's on I-45, exit 164. Now guys, this is cool. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna hold the camera really close by, but you actually can see the meat being hung out right here. That's cool, isn't it? Now guys, I haven't gone inside yet, but I wanna show you guys something really, really, really super cool. How a look at this. God bless America, it says on there. It's an actual barbecue, you know? You see this up here? I don't know if we can actually open it, but yeah, you can actually open it. But that rifle is actually a barbecue. Yep, have a look at that. Isn't that cool or what? <laughs> look at that, that pistol there. This uh, exhaust pipe up here is actually the uh, where the smoke comes out. <laughs> That's cool, eh? I just, I just love it. Now this is Texas style, my friends. This is Texas style. Yes sir, bud. Wood Steakhouse, that's what it's called. That's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Anyways, let's go inside and have a good eat. Alrighty guys, we are fixing to have a good meal. Let's have a look. We got ourselves a turkey leg, some uh, pork ribs, some beans, and a drink. And we are ready to fix to have a nice meal. Look at it, they got some Texas style tables up here, man. That's cool. That dinner was awesome. I had me a turkey leg and a couple of slices of pork ribs. Oh yeah, with some barbecue sauce and some beans. Oh man, oh man, that was a good meal. Oh, no, I'm so full. <laughs> I don't know, man, but uh, I just figured I'll close the video and I'll go on the back there and edit the video together and get it uploaded for you guys. Yes! I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, remember this. You are my audience and in order for me to get more audience, you got to share the video and tell more people about it. So that way uh, more people will find out about me and that in essence will help me out a lot so if you could do that for me i would very much appreciate it and if you did like the video also give me a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel hey we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribing button and you will also be notified via email when i upload a new uh, new video and if you're using the youtube app you can hit that little uh, bell button and it will actually notify you as soon as I'm uploading it, uh, as soon as I have uploaded a new video. So it's actually a nice, cool new feature that uh, uh, Google uh, YouTube has been coming out with. And uh, hey, that's a way to stay in touch with me. And uh, if you have anything that you would like to say or any suggestions or whatever you have to say about today's uh, video, you can certainly leave a comment down there below and let me know what you think about today's video or if you think there could be some improvements or if you think there could be something I could improve in 
or things that I could change or anything like that we're always up for ideas remember you are the audience and you are the ones that get to watch it so if you ask for something it's a possibility that I might actually do it and uh, hey you get the credit just look at it that way yes sir Bob anyways that's about all we got today and we will be sure to see some of you tomorrow or you will get to see me tomorrow anyways anyways have a good rest of your day and be sure to stick around for tomorrow because we got some good shows coming have a good one behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the wall